we are here at Hidden Lake New Course. We are gonna do a little bit of a rating course vlog. It is fall and it is cold, but we'll do our best to play some good golf and see how the conditions of the course is in. We have a nice par three, so let's start it off. Four hole vlog. Par three, playing 145. I actually have the eight iron, but I'm gonna choke down a little bit. Pin is on top of a ledge, so we gotta play it a little long and hopefully it doesn't roll back. It could go into the water, but that is not going to happen for us today. Oh, it's right at it. Right at it. Oh, and I did what I didn't want to happen. It is short and it's down the hill, but we have a birdie putt, so I don't care. We can make this work. Green's looking a little good, but the tee box is hurting. A bit of rough shape, however, we're looking at the end of season here in October for Canada, so can't expect too much. We got a nice 50 footer upper ridge and it's gonna swoop and break left huge. So we're gonna aim probably a foot and a half out. This is for the birdie putt. Green's looking in pretty decent shape here. Love in fall golf, especially Hidden Lake, one of my favorite courses. Get up, get up. Let's go make this pot. Five footer for par. We're, we're putting her down the hatch just to start off the round even. There we go. Okay, good putts here. Made the par, down the hatch. Loving this fall golf. Probably my favorite season. Let me know what's your favorite season for golfing. Summer, spring, or fall. Could even be winter. We have a par four up next. Beautiful fall colors in the background. Honestly, I love this season. I really do. Especially at this course. Just great with the forestry. I'm gonna hit a driver for this hole and it's a dog leg left. So we're gonna just try to play it a little bit short in a fairway finder. Let me know what's your favorite hole to play. A par five, four, or three. Comment down below. Tee shot, let her rip. That drive took a little too much fade. Pin is behind this forestry here, but we're gonna just try to go over these trees to the right, play a nice wedge shot, and then get a nice up and down and try to make this par. A little bit right, but that was a perfect ball. Now we can do a wedge in and hopefully make a uh, par putt. That's okay. We're, we're taking it as they come with these tee shots. Ooh. Slightly downhill lie here. Ball's probably going to pop out left. So we're going to aim right side of the green. Wedge is in hand. And we're going to try to get this up and down for a par putt. All right, at least we got a par putt. Good shot there. A little bit more left. Oh, look, it's rolling. It's rolling to the pin a little. Okay, a little bit shorter than I expected. Greens are in actually good shape, really receptive. We caught the hill here and rolled a little bit closer to the pin. Still probably a 12 footer putt. This is for the par. This is a beautiful hole, beautiful scenery. Love this. Let's go make this putt. Got a new uh, putting grip actually I've tried the claw I've tried down here I'm trying the side by side seems to take my hands a little bit out of it one hand so more of a straight roller let's see if it works for us oh that, I got I got robbed there guys Rob just a little bogey tapping that's okay I'll take it there was still a good roll on that really nice I'm enjoying this golf. Fall, like I said, my favorite season of golf just because of the temperature, the scenery. I know the ball doesn't fly compared to the summer, but that's okay. You learn to play with that. Nearing the end of the day, doing time. I got the energy drinks. Let's smash it in there. Down the hat. So we are plus one through two, which isn't too bad. I almost made that putt to make the par. You gotta make those putts. You gotta redeem yourself from that tee shot. And I did, I played a little smarter. I got her back in the fairway, made that up and down. Unfortunately, just didn't get it, but that's okay. We got another chance here with a par four. 
392 yards. I have the driver and we're going to go right side because bunkers are in play on the left. Oh, it's drawing. Oh no. Oh no. I think we're in the rough or we're in the fairway. I actually don't know, but I know it's near these trees on the right side. We got to check this out because we might be in some trouble. Not a bad tee shot from your guy here. However, this golfer is a travesty. It's like moving so slow. I'm maxed out with the gas pedal up, and I swear I could run faster than this. Jesus. We only have about 110 left to the pin. Pretty good drive, but I clearly cranked out with the draw way too far right. Should have aimed maybe a little more left and took that line. We have tree trouble in play and a bunker up ahead of us. But the nine can get us out there, put us on the green for a nice birdie putt. I'm gonna maybe half choke on this nine, full swing and put her on the green. It might come out real hot. We'll try to pick it clean here. Oh, that is not what you wanna do. Now we have to, that was, that was a freaking disaster. I should have hit a wedge, just put it back in play and played smarter like the last one. Oh well, we have a wedge shot in, we gotta make the par. We're in excellent shape. So the ball should come out nice. We're gonna uh, hit a wedge shot, put it right side because it rolls left, and it's a backside pin, so we gotta put her up there. Put her up there. Oh, that's chunky and short. My lord, we got a chip shot for par. Unbelievable. Just total disaster of a hole. You never know, it's like hit or miss with me, I swear. Let's see how receptive this green is. We got the wedge back in hand and we got to put it real close to the pin. Let's put a little nippy one in there. Just take the bogey and move on. Pull out. All right, we have a bogey putt. That's okay. Looking like a probably a 10 footer, just left side. Let's go make this putt, guys. Greens were a little receptive, but I expected a little less roll there. It's okay. We have a 10-footer bogey putt here, left to right. We're on the top of a ridge. I swear, this pin almost looks illegal. It's on a slant. It's not even in a flat spot. But we'll make the putt. We'll settle up with a bogey, and we'll make her happen. Beautiful day. It's getting a little dark out here. So we'll try to finish this up before uh, she gets a bit too dark to play. When... It's like the blasted hole. You got like a volcano lip on that thing. Because that literally was rolling in the hole. It hit the lip and rolled right back. That's not fair. A little robbed on that one. At least the greens are rolling pretty nice today. And uh, liking this course, hidden late. The last hole here, par five, 460 yards, very gettable. I'm gonna use the driver. These tee boxes aren't in the best shape. Definitely like a four out of 10. Fairways in pretty darn good shape, six out of 10. Bunkers, three out of 10. They're like hard concrete. We'll come up once we finish this hole, we'll give her an overall rating, but let's get this par five and try to make a birdie, get her back. The view though, it's priceless. You can't complain about this view. We're about to hit our tee shot, but we got some Canadian Cobra Death chickens in the way. Hopefully those little suckers don't get in our way because that is a hefty find to be hitting one of those things. Typical shot shape is a fade. We're aiming right side of the fairway. Since there's bunkers on the left, let's go hit our driver. might be in the bunker. That faded exactly what we didn't want to happen, but at least the cobra chickens are safe. That's the main concern here. The cobras and no fun. Let's move on. Last day cobras. Piss someone else. So take a look at this shot. We just made it in front of the bunker. I did not want to get in the bunker because I'm not the greatest, to be honest, with bunker play, but 
we're gonna hit one back into the fairway here there is a little bit of a river pond up in play and we got to try to get it over that and land it on the green birdie opportunity is still there so we got to hit a nice easy iron back into the fairway i have a seven let's just try to put it a little close so we can get a nice iron into the green okay we are played a bit of a fade did not expect that but we're in the fairway and we do have an opportunity to hit this green let's go hit this green on this gorgeous course a little bit of a fader on that last shot but we only have 120 left to the pin we're in prime position that river pond whatever you want to call it it's in play but we got a smooth easy nine and we're gonna put her on the green for a birdie putt this is shot number three let's make her happen Perfect draw, 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 draw. Birdie putting, probably 15, 20 feet for that birdie putt. Let's go make this, guys. We are in prime position. We landed pin high, excellent shot in here. And we have probably a 20, 22 footer for the bird. Look at these evil cobra chicken. These cobra chickens insulted the green and shat all over it, bloody cobras. We put up. Let's make it. Only had one blow up hole, so it's not bad. You know the golf skin better, but we'll have a lot of time to practice during this Canadian winter. What a putt. What a putt. We got the birdie. We dropped our score a little lower, and that's what you like to see, guys, especially on this channel. Give it a like. We want to see 10 likes just for that birdie. So we are now plus two over the four. I give Hidden Lake a solid six and a half out of 10. Beautiful course, recommend playing here if you are in the Burlington area. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next video. Take care.